Hello friends, Namaskar. Whenever a person takes up a new business venture, it gives me too much of happiness that okay, he is the person who, in, who is going to be an employee. Now when you take up a new business, there are certain challenges which come along with such particular business. There are certain procedures which are required to be filled up or fulfilled by such person without which he may not be able to survive in his business in a longer time. So I thought of why not? I should make a video on this particular topic as to have you started a new business and through this video my dear friend I am trying to put up certain very important points I can say key points which are essential for a new businessman so that he does not end up into a particular situation or a scenario where he or she may find that they are ruined in terms of their tax liabilities, they are ruined in terms of their documentation, they are ruined in terms of making profit but paying higher than profit to the authority. So this is the kind of concern which provoked me to come up with this particular video. So the first point which I am trying to narrate here or to tell you is have you applied for all applicable registrations? Whatever registrations are applicable to you, are you there with those registrations? The simple and the first registration you can say is PAN. Many a cases people are not aware that when they are liable for a GST registration, so they should apply for a GST registration as well. Sometime you are liable for a labor law registration, PF registration, ESI registration. Even a shop act registration as per the relevant state law may sometimes be required when you are doing a commercial activity in form of a shop or a factory. An FPO registration my dear friends would be required when you are dealing into food products. Similarly MSME is a very important registration which many of us might not take up even if they are taking up a business but this MSME registration helps you in even recovering your dues in a faster manner. So I am trying to simply put up that you must understand that which all registrations are applicable to you and accordingly have you obtained all those registrations, all those confirmations from the authorities for your sake or not because this will help you in taking up your business or your venture in a right direction. The another aspect my dear friends is have you ensured compliance of regular tax payments, return filing, etc. Many a time I have seen that as a new businessman, we are very enthusiastic about our business. That is sourcing the business, conducting the business, then generating new clients, ensuring that our sales or the professional services are going up at the high scales on a day by day basis. But simultaneously we need to ensure that whatever tax liability is accordingly coming for such transactions is duly paid. I want to highlight here that maybe for an example if you are registered under GST, you are liable to pay the GST on a monthly basis, you are liable to file your ITR, uh, sorry GSTR for a quarterly basis. Similarly, you are liable to pay your advanced tax liability. Sometime when your business volumes are high, say if I quote more than 1 crore rupees sales case, then usually a tedious compliance may also get attracted. For finer blueprint, you can go certainly to your particular chart accountant, your advisor, maybe your tax consultant. But here through this slide, I wanted to highlight to you that you should take care about that whether the GST compliance, advanced tax compliance, tedious compliance, PFESI compliance if required by you is duly adhered to. This will help you in ensuring that you are able to do your business for a long term in a smoother way. You can say Mr. Bhatia, this is a point of concern for you but it's not that. The point I am raising here is are you availing proper professional advice? See I can't advise to all. So I'll just keep on promoting that there is nothing wrong if you reach out to the professional who is Understanding all these aspects may be a GST registration, import export registration, MSME registration since day one. And whenever required, I also keep on promoting this particular thing amongst the clients that said, please do ask queries to your professional, to your advisor, so that whenever there is a question, the advisor, the professional will give you the right advice and accordingly you can act based on those advice in the future. So it is always better to have a proper professional advice 
who is a qualified person maybe he is a chartered accountant or a company secretary or a cma or a tax advisor like an advocate but such person should be a professional person who can take care about the growing needs of your business and the relevant compliances in a timely manner a very important point my dear friends which usually as a businessman sometime people forget is are you conducting your business transactions through a current account or saving bank account somebody may say how does it affect me usually as a consultant i suggest to my clients sir please open up a current account and ensure your business transactions are routed through current account it's not that the routing of the business transaction through saving bank account is restricted but yes the saving bank accounts if done in a voluminous transaction manner if they are maintained in a voluminous transaction manner they may create income tax issues for you and they may also create gst related issues for you so it is always better that when you are doing up a business then you take up your business into a current account mode rather than taking it up in a saving bank account mode i hope this will also be a very helpful uh, kind of guidance from my side for your business are you ensuring proper accounting and record keeping of your transactions or not sometimes since you are a new businessman or a professional you might be very enthusiastically giving too much of time for your broad basing of the business for a client generation and rushing for completion of the work or the sales target whatever but sometimes we forget that are we maintaining proper accounting of our books even if law does not ask you to maintain the books there is nothing wrong and there is nobody who stops you from maintaining proper accounting and when i distinguish my accounting with the record keeping record keeping in my opinion is a bigger concern my dear friend because whatever invoices you are receiving for purchases for expenses whatever invoices you are issuing for your sales they should also be properly maintained this kind of record keeping as well as proper accounting will help you to ensure that at the end of a particular period you are able to properly submit your records to the professional based on them he or she will be able to help you to file your return and he or she will be able to file and ensure your tax compliances are properly done not only that at the end of a particular period you may be able to know exactly whatever profits i have earned so i see that as a new businessman you are supposed to maintain proper records proper accounting of your business transactions even all these points which i am touching up here are duly applicable to a professional at the end i must say all the best to you as a businessman because you have ventured to take up a new business or maybe a new profession but my dear friends it's easier to start a business but it's hard to maintain a business and to take it to a growth level many a time it is seen that people start business in enthusiasm but at the end of the day they feel that this business requires too much of uh, maintenance too much of the compliances so don't hesitate in ensuring the compliance so that you don't get into the troubles from the concerned authorities regulating authority if from day one you ensure the compliances with the help of a professional advice you will be able to rise your business further so this is all from my side for the day i hope the advices which i have shared here would be certainly helpful to you thank you very much for being with me jai